Animated button effects are one of the best ways to uh, create a visual interest and prompt learners to touch the screen in their course. Now, they require a little extra work in Storyline, but I think that extra work pays off when you see some of the creative effects that are possible. So let's take a look and see how easy it is to create these animated button effects in Storyline 360. Okay, so I'm here in Storyline, and the first thing I want to do is just insert it could be a button, it could be a regular shape, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to keep it really simple and just work with a shape. So I'm going to come up here to the insert tab on the ribbon and I'll just start with a uh, just a common rectangle is fine. But you can really play with any of these shapes to get an idea of the different effects and how they work with uh, the various shapes. So I'll click rectangle and I'm just going to draw a big old button right here on the slide. And let's just call this button and I'll make this uh, let's say a little bit larger type there 24 looks good so the next thing I want to do is edit this graphic edit this object and create a hover state for it right now it's just a static uh, single state object right so come down here to states choose edit states and we're just going to create a hover state for this object so I'll create a new state and hover state is a built-in state so I'm just going to choose hover here from the drop down list and choose add that's going to copy over that initial normal state. You can see these both are uh, really the same thing. So a couple things real quick. If I want to add a animated hover state, you think, okay, well, let's just go up here to the animations tab up here in the ribbon. But what do you see, right? Well, you see that your animation options, whether it's the entrance animation or the exit are disabled. They're not available, but they are available to any new shapes that we place inside of this state. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and just add another shape, really pretty much the same one. So I'm just going to click this and I'll change the color real quick before I place it over the graphic. I'm just going to align it and place it right there. So I have two shapes in here. I have the normal, uh, the original uh, shape for the hover state and then I have this new rectangle that I just created. If I go back up to the animations tab, look what I have. I have access now to all of my entrance and exit animation styles. That's super cool. So I can apply maybe a wipe if I want to show this, uh, it's not like a progress button coming in. So I'll choose wipe and then let's just say it comes in from the left and I'll choose a wipe to exit it. And again, one thing you're going to want to do is play with all of these effects so you can see how they really work. So I'll put that right there. And I am going to type in button again, just to make this also appear when that text comes in. So I'll just change this back over here to 20. I think that's what I used on the first one, right? 20, 24. Good thing I checked. Happy I checked. 24. Okay. That's what I'm going to do for now. I'm just going to close out of here, choose done editing, and let's just preview our slide real quick. So just preview, preview the slide. Here's my button. And when I hover over, notice how that yellow hover shape wipes in. When I move off the button, it wipes out. And you can play with different directions for those wipe animations. Let me show you one other thing you can do. Well, just another thing you can do. You could do a lot of other things. I'm gonna come back down here, click edit states, select this second shape here for the hover. I'm gonna remove the button label. And I'm going to just kind of shrink this height of the button. So I have the same effect right? The same effect where it's going to wipe in from the left and then wipe out uh, from the right. But now it's not covering up the entire button. So you don't have to cover up the entire original shape that you're using for your buttons. Just add an accent piece to each of those. Close out of done editing, close out of the states, done editing states. And let's preview the slide uh, one more time. And now you see how there's a little accent up here at the top. So just a couple ideas of how you can work with animated button effects in Storyline 360.